In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a select all feature, just like this. I have a list of contacts um, in a repeating group on my page, and I have a, a checkbox icon next to the name so that I can see when one of my contacts has been selected. And I've got a button right above. So if I click on it, then all of them have been selected, and this button will change its wording too so that I can reverse that um, action and deselect de again, with, the, with just one button click. So all of this um, happens with a custom state so that we can tell Bubble to remember um, a list of items uh, that have been selected from our original list. Now this builds off of a feature that you can build to check one item at a time and maybe you know, choose the first three or you know, the first one, the third one, and, and pick and choose that way. Uh, it uses the exact same concept with a custom state but what I'm going to show you here is how to do it um, so that all items in your list are added all at once and you can kind of toggle back and forth. So I'm going to go to my design here and I'm actually going to undo all of this so that you can see me build it from the beginning. And I'm going to remove my custom state so that we can start right from the beginning. Okay, so this is just a repeating group and it's going to display a list of contacts from my database. This is a custom data type that I've got here. And I'm going to add an icon element to the repeating group cell here. And I'm going to choose uh, square so that I can have an, uh, a deselected look. And the reason I'm using an icon is because most people tend to use that instead of the bubbles checkbox element because you have a little bit more control over what this uh, looks like. You can change the colors and all of that. So uh, I, I do think that this looks better. So I'm going to also remove the style on this icon and just make it gray here. So by default, it is not selected. Now I'm going to add a custom state to my repeating group element here. If I click on the inspector icon right there where it says the I, and I can add a new custom state. And I'm just going to call this state name selected. Okay, and the type of value that this state will hold is a contact type, um, but it's going to be a list of contacts because when I click that button, select all, I want uh, my entire list of contacts that I see in my repeating group to be considered selected. So I need this to accept a list of contacts uh, for this selected uh, state value here. So I'll create that, there's my custom state. And now I'm going to add a button above my repeating group to trigger this action. So this will be select all. And when I uh, click on this button, so I'm going to start edit a workflow. When I click on that, I'm going to set this the value of the custom state. So this will be an element action. We'll go to set state. And my element where I've placed my custom state is on the repeating group and my custom state is selected. I just got one there. And the value for this is just going to be the full list of contacts from the repeating group. No filters or anything like that because that's the whole point of this button is I wanna choose everyone. So I'm going to set the value to the repeating group's contacts, list of contacts. Now, I only want it to change the value of this custom state to everybody if, um, they, if it hasn't already been, uh, if the list hasn't already been uh, added as a selected list. So I'm going to add a condition here. Uh, only when the repeating group's contacts selected count is not the repeating group contacts list of contacts count. So let's say I have none selected. Then uh, that means that uh, the, there will be the, the repeating group list here, let's say I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven here, but there will be none in my selected custom state value. So seven does not equal zero. So we know that not everybody has been selected. So this will be able to run. If I choose five out of those seven, that still will meet this condition. Five is not zero. So it will select all of the remaining people um, and add them to that list. So that way we can create um, an opposite action to deselect everybody if there is anyone in the list and it can remove, remove them all in one click. So this is just going to add people and I'm going to copy this and paste to just quickly have um, a similar one, but we're just gonna make a couple of adjustments here. So the condition here to deselect 
would be when uh, the count is anything greater than zero, right? Because even if I choose one or if I choose all seven contacts, when I click deselect, I want everybody to be cleared from my selection. So as long as there is one there, then this action will run. And this custom state value is just going to be cleared out. Okay, so now let's, uh, oh, I need to update the, the icon so that I can see who has been selected. And I'm going to add this in a condition here. So when the repeating group contacts selected contains current cells contact, then this icon will change to a check and the color will change to, let's do green. Okay, so I'm gonna refresh the page and we'll run this preview. All right, so there's my list. I have no one selected. Now I'm going to select all. So they're all selected. Now if I click it again, now they're deselected. If we go into the step-by-step -step mode and uh, click this button, you'll see how it's happening um, kind of in slow motion here. So remember, we have two workflows and only one of them should be true at one, any one time. So the condition where the repeating group selected count is greater than zero is not true, right? Because you can see that we haven't selected anybody. So no one's selected. That means the count is zero. That means it's not greater than zero. So this is false. This does not pass and it will not run. Let's go to the next uh, workflow event there. So you can see in green here, it is passing the condition. The selected count is not, you can see here, yes, it's meeting that condition. The repeating groups list of contacts count. This is just you know the list that we have that we're seeing right here, right? Zero is not seven. So this will pass, we'll go to the action, which is to set the state of the selected, uh, the, the custom state called selected. And we're setting that value to just the repeating groups full list of contacts. And then our um, condition on the icon kicks in and I'll um, let me go back to normal there. I'm gonna hit inspect and go to the icon so you can see how, uh, why this condition is passing. So the repeating groups contacts selected, which is all seven contacts contains, yes, this current cells contact, right? All the, the full list is there. So um, all of these are gonna be checked because everyone is within that list. And then the opposite will happen. Basically, you know, the one that wasn't true before is now gonna be true. So I can hit um, the button again to deselect. Now I haven't added a condition to my button here so that it changes the text. You can see it still says select all no matter what. Um, so my uh, condition on the button can say, when repeating groups contacts list of con uh, sorry the selected count is greater than zero then we can change the text to deselect all okay there we go okay so select now it changes to deselect and there you have it now if you wanted to do um you know deselecting one at a time uh, that would be an additional uh, workflow to just remove that one person from the list. So if we start an edit workflow from the icon and only when the repeating group contacts selected contains the current cells contact, then we're going to remove this contact from that custom state value. So to do that, I'll go to element actions, set state to repeating group contacts selected and set the state value to equal the existing list which is repeating group contacts selected, and then minus the current cells contact. We're removing them from that list. And I can do the opposite too to add if you wanna do one at a time. Now we're no longer talking about the select all feature, but these kind of work together um, if you want to kind of pick and choose uh, a couple of contacts at a time or just go ahead and select all or deselect all. So I'm gonna copy this one to be able to add an individual a contact um, one by one. So when the selected value doesn't contain the contact, then I want to add them to my selected list. So this will just change to plus item instead of minus. All right, so now I can click this. OK, 
Okay, so I can choose one, two, three, like that. And my button has changed to deselect because remember, um, I have at least one selected here. Now, if I hit deselect, it clears them. Okay, just like that. Select all, and if I deselect one of them, you know, I can do it that way too, just the opposite. Deselect all, select all. There you go. Uh, so that's how you do it. It's it's all in that custom state value and manipulating, um, you know, if you want to include the entire list one at a time, adding, subtracting. Uh, also keep in mind that when you are working with um, a list value, uh, this, this has different list operations. So you can actually combine values if you wanted. So uh, I'm with here with the icon, I've, I'm using plus item, minus item, but you can also take, um, a list of contacts maybe from one repeating group and merge them with a list of contacts from another repeating group if you want to combine them as long as they're the same type right so in my example here as long as both repeating groups uh, were a list of contacts you can merge i'm going to change this to merge with another list right the merge operation is taking one list and combining it with another list whereas here we're taking one list and adding an individual item to that list or subtracting that's it. Uh, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up or leave a comment below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, there are many more tutorials just like this that take you through these cool features in our VIP membership. You can read more about that if you're not already a member in the description below.